Uh, my name is Lewis. I'm from Wasilla. Lived here pretty much all my life. Um, in middle school, uh, the time period that I was going there, um, the word fag was starting to, you know, hit schools and people were starting to use it a lot. And people were calling me that name a lot and I was taking it as they knew, you know, how I felt inside and I was like freaking out, obviously, you know, like 11 years old and people are already know without me even telling them, you know, what's the rest of my life going to be like. The people at my school were uh, very religious and tried to come out one year and told one friend and of course she told everybody else, you know, and came to school the next day and like nine or ten people all around the flagpole holding hands and as I walked in, um, their little leader was like, you know, Oh, we're praying for your soul. We're praying for your soul. We're, we're praying you'll get better. I was like, oh crap, this is not good. I thought it was kind of all over then, but uh, I told them it was all a joke and they believed it. When I was 19, um, my mom had come over while I was living at my old apartment and uh, she was helping me clean up. And she just casually asked, uh, you know, have you been out on any dates, you know, the mom stuff. And I kind of turned my head for a second and was like, oh, you know, kind of blushed a little bit. And she's like, oh, who's the lucky girl? And moms know, you know, when you're hiding something. And I didn't say anything for a second. And then she said, uh, oh, who's the lucky boy? And I'm like, mom, the hell? She's like, hon, I've known for a while. And she started crying a little bit. I was like, I, I felt that she was uh, sad. And she just stared at me and was like, stand up and give your mama a hug. And so we hugged for a little bit. And she said that she was going to tell my dad. But my dad had already found out by that time. Uh, one of my friends had talked to another person that worked at the hospital with my dad. And this person was a notorious gossip and told everybody in the hospital except for my dad. So people were coming in and out of his office all day, saying, you know, oh, Lou, we're, we just found out, we're so sorry. And my dad, not knowing that I was gay, very confused. And then a uh, gentleman that um, himself was gay, uh, he came into his office and was like, oh, you know, the hardest part's over, you know. It's cool running from here. And my dad, you know, okay, what the fuck is going on? He's like, we're talking about your son. And, what do you mean? What about my son? What's going on? Like, oh, you don't know. So then I didn't get to come out to my dad the way I wanted to. Uh, but he found out anyways. He made it very clear that he, you know, didn't care which way, you know, if I liked women and if I liked men, you know, as long as I was happy. And he said the main reason he was sad is because he wanted, you know, grandchildren. And I told him, you know, you're still getting grandchildren. Uh, it's just me. We're at the turkey baster. And, you know, it's like, ah, oh, that's fine. Everything's cool now.